In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to create a private space on your Android phone in 2025. So this basically works for Android 15 phones, but if you have an old Android device, not a problem. You could definitely see if you have this option, it would hardly take like one or two minutes. If you do, you are definitely going to have something very good for yourself. Now, what is a private space? Basically, an Android device is uh, capable of having files and folders and stuff like that. And we all know that we have an option on all Android devices to lock any application or lock any folder. So normally what we would do is to lock an application. We get to the app lock and then we would lock the application. It's very simple. You get to settings, search for app lock, and then you're going to get an option to lock each application. But a private space is an area on your Android phone that is going to have a lock to a lot of things. It's not just one folder or maybe an application. You could lock photos, videos, files, a lot of things in your private space. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So once you get hold of your Android phone, the first thing what you need to do is open the main menu. Okay, you just uh, scroll down and scroll up or whatever it is. Get to the main menu out here. Okay, not the home screen menu, not this. Okay. Once you get to this menu, just go ahead and drag the screen from left to right from the center. Okay. Once you do that, you are going to get an option to create a private space. You get a pop up like this. Click on continue. And then uh, you just verify yourself. And then Google is going to go ahead and create a private space for you automatically. If you have to re enter your pin, just put that in. Okay. And then you go ahead and select your lock for the private space. Like, remember, you have to put a lock to the door. So this is the lock that you're setting up. Maybe your fingerprint pattern or pin or whatever. So I select fingerprint, checkbox this, click on OK. Verify your fingerprint out here or set up your fingerprint. Next, you have to set up your fingerprint unlock. So you click on setup. Click on hold. OK, you just keep holding and scan your fingerprint out here. Just keep doing this. Then your fingerprint gets added. Click on done. And then we're all set. Click on done again. There you go. You have your private space. So here in your private space, you could add private files, video files or PDF files or whatever it is. You could click pictures. You could save private photos or you could even save applications as private. And nobody else apart from you is going to get access to this because once you log out from the screen, you get back. You drag, you are supposed to be putting in a fingerprint or your pin to log in. So you may have some secret documents or secret photos or secret videos that you do not want to share with everybody. It's very sensitive. So you could use this feature on an Android device to set a pin or a lock to your private space and save everything out there. Give my video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.